Do your customers suffer from impact amnesia? Of course, I think we all do. It's so hard to dedicate time to looking back into what we've already achieved because there's always something in front of us that feels urgent or that we must solve. But why would it be important to remember that impact? Well, you know, we have these meetings called impact reviews. People call them QBRs, quarterly business reviews or executive business reviews. These are meetings throughout the customer's life cycle where you don't just have your champion in those meetings, you've got executives, you've got different stakeholders that are joining you. It's a great opportunity to really show all of the impact that you've already achieved during your relationship together. Just like in science, when you have a hypothesis and you test it, whenever you start a relationship, you have this hypothesis about what it will do together and where you're trying to build. And in order to make sure that you are solving for the thing that you're thinking you're solving for and keeping in your future strategy in mind, it's a fantastic idea to schedule these EBRs or QBRs or impact reviews so that people know when you expect to have milestones that you can reflect on. Exactly. And you know, just like our executives prep before their big meetings, I want CSMs to treat these as big meetings too. So there is quite a lot of prep that has to go into these. Oftentimes that prep is going to take longer than the meeting itself. So some of the things that we should be doing when we prep is we should, first of all, review their impact plan. What were their initial goals? What kind of metrics have they achieved? So we're going to look back and look at and see how they've been doing. And then we also want to look forward. We want to see what is our plan? We're the, stra we're the strategic experts for our product. Where do we want to take our customer? And let's make sure we have a plan as well as a story that can help communicate and paint that picture for that executive on the meeting. Let's put it into action. What would this actually sound like? Can you set up a role play? For sure. So let's imagine you are an executive at a company. You're, we've been working together for the last three months and you have finally got all of your vendor contracts in a single location. Sound good? That sounds great. The goal of this part is to verify what we already learned Remind that customer what the pain was that they first experienced and then talk about, look at all the impact that you've already achieved. Are you ready? Okay. So, hey, Dan, you know, it's been three months since we've been working together. Um, when we first started working together, I know you had four different locations of your company and you had all these vendor contracts that were all in different locations. You were struggling to manage all of those payments. Is that still the case? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes we would have things in different places and we would end up doing a lot of duplicate work, which wastes a lot of time and money and causes frustration on the team. Yeah. So, you know, what would have happened if that problem had continued? I'm sure we would have had some attrition. There'd be security lapses, like a whole bunch of things I don't want to even think about anymore. I know it's it's tough. Well, now you've got all of these documents in a single location. How has that affected your operational budgets? Actually, it simplified it a bit. We had some issues, I think, that now that I think about it, we haven't had recently where we were paying a duplicate thing for like three months and it ended up wasting yeah, money there. But yeah, now it's so much simpler. Wow. OK, cut role play. Great job, Dan. Um, I want to really just point out that we started looking backwards and getting Dan to talk about some of the pains that he was experiencing, remember what that felt like. And now looking forward, now that we've solved this problem, how has this affected you in a really positive way? I like that. And you've said the context and you made me remember things and you're taking me on this journey without making me feel forced. Like, oh yeah, let's just rehash the stuff that we already know. You put it into my context. So I think that nuance that you did with those questions is really powerful. So what action can we take now after this watching this video to get better prepared for our next impact review? To get ready for your next impact review, I want you to write down what are some of these impacts that your customers have achieved and how can you craft questions to get your customer to articulate some of this pain that they were experiencing and all of the impact that they've already achieved so that you can get them over that impact amnesia and seeing all of the impact that you have helped them achieve.